It's an American flag, it's behind bars. The letter in here, it says, you are not forgotten. Over 181,000 U.S. military veterans are currently serving time in prison. And a recent study suggests that many of them are suffering from mental illnesses, including PTSD. There's a, there's a tale of PTSD. There's a story of trauma there that when they came back from combat and conflict, uh, there was not enough support. There was not enough help. And while many of these veterans didn't receive therapy before their incarcerations, some are now getting it thanks to a program that allows them to express their feelings through art. It's a privilege. To be honest, it's a privilege. It's an honor. Daniel Shea is the co-founder and president of A Touch of Light, a program that allows incarcerated veterans to produce works of art while serving time and to have that work displayed. These are folks that have always had a passion and commitment for service, for giving back to their community, or they wouldn't have gone into the military in the first place. The program is centered on second chances, and among other benefits, it also offers a scholarship through sale of this art. In fact, one vet recently used this scholarship to put his daughter through nursing school. He said, you know, if something, please, if my work sells, some, you know, any of my work, I want that to be a scholarship for her education. Shea says that while he's not a veteran himself, he can still relate to what these men and women are experiencing as they serve their time behind bars. You know, I, I, have, a, I have a justice involved back with myself, and along the way, um, there was more than one time that a veteran encouraged me, helped me out, um, gave me a hand up. Uh, and so the chance to give back and help. I got second chances, so many second chances, it, uh, it blows my mind. On November 2nd, this year's works of art will be unveiled during an opening night ceremony at Seattle Center's ANT Art Gallery. But it's more than just an opening night event. It's a spirit booster and potentially a game changer for the lives of those who have served their country and are now incarcerated. So for them to say, hey, look, don't forget us, we're not. We're not. They're going to be in the show. For Northwest Now Digital First, I'm Chris Anderson.